This is KVU News at 5.30. Donald Trump weathering a political storm after leaked audio recordings. Tonight he faces tough questions and Hillary Clinton on the debate stage. Hurricane Matthew left massive destruction across four U.S. states, millions displaced, hundreds killed, and several still missing. And a woman kicked out of a retail store for breastfeeding. Despite state laws and company policy that allows it, she tells her story, hoping to get the uninformed informed. Good evening and thank you for watching KVU Tonight. I'm Tina Shively in for Chris Betts. It's a big night in the race for the White House. In just hours, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump square off in the second presidential debate. But looming large, that audio recording featuring Trump making crude comments about women. ABC's Karen Travers has that story tonight from St. Louis. Round two, and all signs point to a defiant Donald Trump going on the attack. The controversy is still growing over the comments from Trump about women, recorded in 2005 and obtained by the Washington Post. Just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. Grab them by the. I could do anything. The Republican Party is reeling, many in the GOP blasting their nominee. Trump's longtime friend Rudy Giuliani, the only member of Team Trump out this morning doing damage control. And I think Donald Trump has expressed that uh, very, very clearly, that he, he's ashamed of himself and he's embarrassed. Can Trump himself convey that tonight? Go in there humbly, go in there in a way of some, some humility that says, you know, I messed up. He's not going to do that. That's not who he is. He's probably going to attack. Trump signaling he's going nuclear, turning the conversation to not just Hillary, but Bill Clinton. First, this from Friday night. Bill Clinton has actually abused women, and Hillary has bullied, attacked, shamed, and intimidated his victim. And Trump retweeting Clinton rape accuser Juanita Broderick. The former president has denied those allegations. Broderick has never pursued criminal charges. Good Donald Trump, drop out of the race. Hillary Clinton has now had days to prepare for these attacks. Tonight's debate is designed for uh, voters to hear from the candidates, hear real positive solutions. And that's what Secretary Clinton is prepared to do tonight. Half of the questions at tonight's town hall debate will come from pre-selected audience members. Campaigns hope that means the focus will be on policy, not just scandals. Karen Travers, ABC News, St. Louis. You can catch the debate tonight at 8 o'clock right here on KVU. We'll also be streaming it live on KVU.com. Let's take a live look now outside at Zilker Park right now. This is where Austin City Limits is celebrating its last shows of 2016. Thousands of people came out this year to enjoy great music, food, and drinks. The big performers tonight, of course, Willie Nelson, LCD Sound System, and also Mumford and & Sons. Albert Ramon joins me now, who is now our chief meteorologist here at KVU. I feel honored to be the first one to oh, say well-deserved. Thank you, Tina. I appreciate that. <laughs> And what a weekend to kick yeah. off, you know, a wonderful, wonderful a stretch of weather with temperatures warming up as we head towards the next few days. But yesterday was great. Today, even better. Temperatures right now in the 70s and 80s, a little mild but low humidity. And that breeze out of the northeast sure did feel good this afternoon. Northeast right now between 5 and 14 miles per hour. Winds lighten up. Clear skies, and that's going to allow for a chilly night. I have 40s in the forecast for some of you. It'll be a little milder tomorrow, and then those rain chances return, at least small rain chances, by the end of the work week. We'll talk about that and the rest of your forecast coming up. All right, Chief, thanks. <laughs> Hurricane Matthew is now gone, but the storm left devastation and lingering dangers across four states. Millions of people have been displaced, and over 2 million people were left without power in Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. Roads, homes, and businesses all left under feet of water, especially in Fayetteville, North Carolina. 500 people were rescued here from the flash floods, but several are still missing. Water can kill, and that's exactly what has happened, sadly, in North Carolina, and we still have those dangers ahead of us. The death toll continues to rise in that state. Also in Haiti, where the storm hit the hardest, the estimated death toll is at least 900 people. The suspect believed to have shot and killed two Palm Springs, California police officers is in police custody tonight. 26-year-old John Felix reportedly opened fire when police responded to a family disturbance call yesterday afternoon. Officers Jose Gilbert Vega and Leslie Zarebny died in that attack. The department mourned the loss of the two officers at this ceremony this morning. Officer Vega was a 35-year veteran of the department scheduled to retire in December. 
Officer Zeredny was with the department for just a year and a half. She had just returned to work after giving birth to a baby girl. Felix is facing two counts of murder on a peace officer. Back here at home, a man is in the Travis County Jail tonight after breaking into the Texas State Capitol. Around 3.30 this morning, the Department of Public Safety says 22-year-old Tanner Grabner climbed up the scaffolding on the side, south side of the Capitol, you see it right there, broke a window, and then entered the building there on the second floor. DPS says that Grabner then intentionally damaged a portrait of former Governor Fletcher Stockdale. He is charged with burglary of a building and also criminal mischief. Both are state jail felonies. The search continues tonight for a suspected kidnapper who led deputies on a chase through two central Texas counties. Travis County deputies started that pursuit through Lytton Springs just after 6.30 last night. They stopped when safety became an issue and Caldwell County deputies then took over. Those deputies found his empty SUV stopped in the Red Rock area. Another driver possibly picked him up, they say. Caldwell County Sheriff's Office does say there is no danger at this point to the public. Well, if you ride the Metro Rail, you'll notice some big changes on how you pay for your ticket. KV's Jason Puckett is live at the Metro Rail stop in downtown Austin. Now, Jason, what's going on out there? <laughs> hey, Tina, we are standing here at the downtown rail station. The train actually just arrived here. And we want to point out to you, these ticket machines right here behind us are at stations all across the city. And starting today, they will no longer let you use a credit or debit card to buy tickets. Now, you still can use cash, but the big push Cap Metro is making is that you start buying tickets in advance using your phone. So here's the details you need to know. First off, why is this change happening? Well, Cap Metro says the current system would require a nearly $5 million upgrade to continue taking credit and debit cards and that they're choosing to put that money elsewhere. Today, the station here downtown, as well as the Plaza Saltillo and MLK Junior stations, are closing to credit and debit cards. The rest will be phased out throughout the month. Now, if you don't have a smartphone and don't want to use cash, you can also buy tickets at stores across the city, including, including, excuse me, the transit store on West 9th Street. Now, one last bit of information for you: Say you have a $20 bill, you don't have exact change for a ride here. No problem. You can still put it in the machine, and they'll give you back an electronic change card that can be used. In any of the other machines for at least 15 days across the city. Now, for a full list of those changes and more information on how exactly the new system will work, you can check our website, KVU.com. For now, you're live downtown. I'm Jason Puckett, KVU News. Great info, Jason. Thank you so much. A local mother kicked out of a store for breastfeeding despite the company policy allowing it. She shares her story with us tonight, hoping to bring awareness to mothers' rights. But first, a live look out over central Texas. Look at that beautiful sunshine. Albert will be back to let us know what we can expect for the rest of the week. You are watching KVU, where trust is earned.